Hello friend, you want to see something cool with a pack of cards? I hope so. I've put together a very special routine with a normal pack of playing cards that combines two, yes, two classic card effects, at least in card magic. After giving me a pack of cards, I'd shuffle them and spread them out, tell you to pick one, but whichever one you pick, to leave it halfway out of the pack. That way everyone can see it's a selection freely chosen from within the middle of the pack. In this case, the King of Diamonds. That's a good selection this time of year. I want you to take this post-it note, put it on the card, and then sign the post-it note. I'll put MLF with a smiley face, okay, of sorts, because that's my signature. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do something special with this card. I want you to notice that, I, in fact, I'll just give it back to you. Put it in the middle of the pack anywhere as I riffle. Good choice. Leave it halfway out so that we can square up uh, the card with the rest of the pack. I'm going to dribble down the cards until I have the last one in my hand, which naturally would be the one on top. Which, interestingly enough, it would be your sign card. That right there is what we call the ambitious card routine. Uh, there is one other step that we can actually do with this, though. I want to go just a little bit further and sign the face of the card. Yes, I'm going to put a smiley face here and my initials here. Very good. And this is a way we can certainly identify that card. And I'll even give this to you as a souvenir if we were to do this in person. We're going to take the card again, uh, put it somewhere in the middle of the pack as I riffle. Good job. Uh, and I want you to see that your card, your King of Diamonds, is in somewhere in the middle of the pack. Here's all we're going to do at this point. Just going to square up the pack, dribble down the cards, until I have one left, which is naturally the one on top, which, of course, is your sign card. Now that right there is pretty cool in and of itself, but there's one other thing that I'd actually like to do. What I'd like to do is show you how magicians mark the backs of the cards so that when they're spreading them not face up, but face down, they can actually see which one your card is. So what am I going to do? Well, this card has been heated so much because it's been handled, we're going to give it a little breeze and watch it cool down so that now your card is the only one, yes, your card is the signed King of Diamonds, which certainly does stand out from the rest of the pack because it is your signed card.